what up what up what's good good people hey i hope all is well coming at you today with a little tag video i was tagged by my good brother equality fragrances i want to thank you for the tag and this tag was designer fragrances one for each month now i know what you might be thinking you don't even own 12 designer fragrances so i actually took it as a challenge because doing niche to me would have been easy so let's go with design so without further ado let's jump right in We'll start with the month of January. Around here, that's one of the coldest months here in Texas. And so when it's cold, I tend to reach for darker, leathery type of fragrances with a lot of lasting power. So we'll start with Dior Homme Parfum. This one, if you're familiar with Dior Homme Intense, the iris note, the powdery iris, and then the vanilla and intense substitute vanilla with leather and this is pretty much what you get as regal as they come the only issue i can't find every occasion to wear it but i reach for it a lot in january it's a great fragrance in january so we roll into february valentine's day love month well yeah well i'm going with usage edp savage savage, <laughs> savage edp this one has that note of heady on in it, which is supposedly been proven to stimulate the sexual something in the brain. So, I mean, the month of February, this is perfect. It actually has, uh, of course, the citruses as the normal 1966 uh, Eau Sauvage. This one has more of a myrrh, rich, woodsy kind of uh, feel to it. And I absolutely love this. You might want to hurry up and get your hands on it. It's been discontinued and bottles are only going up from there. So, Eau Sauvage Parfum. Next, in March. March is kind of in between. It warms up, it can be hot, it can be cold. It's kind of a Swiss Army knife in weather. I prefer Azaro Ginger Lover. Now, Ginger Lover, what I get out of this, I hadn't reviewed it yet, but with this, when it opens up, it smells like it's just little ginger candies that I'll eat from time to time. It smells and tastes, how that tastes this is exactly how it smells. It reminds me so much of those ginger candies. But the odd thing about the dry down is, when it dries down, I'm like, wait a minute, that's familiar. Only to, to realize, I'm like, it's like a YSL, uh, Lion and Wheat kind of dry down, which I love that because it gives you that option of that type of dry down. It's definitely YSL dry down. I just, I think it's a lot of wheat that it reminds me of when it dries down. But uh, a home run actually from Azaro on this one. Really like it. But that is March. Now April. April Fools. Weather's even warmer, more really springtime. And when I thought about April Fools, I thought about Office for Men. But mm, because to me that is a designer uh, fragrances, a fragrance. So, but. In the same realm, and Broxen and Broxen, yeah, Savage EDP, and Broxen Bomb. Lots of fruity nuances up top, and Broxen. Lasts a good while. This is a home run for a reason. It's good stuff. It really is. The only downside in this, I know I'm gonna smell like somebody's whatever in the hell. Ex boyfriend, uncle. Your current boyfriend, brother, and that that's the only downside. But other than that, man, this is this is great stuff. You know what I mean? It, it's a staple and it should be a staple in most people's collection. But I don't reach for it a lot, but when I do, I normally reach for it in April. It's good stuff. I just, I know that I'm gonna smell like somebody. Kind of sad. But from April into May, and once we get into May, uh, it's really starting to cook in Texas and I want the earthy vetiver but I want it bright and so none other than Tom Ford great vetiver bright as can be if I'm not mistaken grapefruit opening just boom opens your nostrils up and then it comes down into a smooth vetiver nice earthy and I get the EDP of this one as well and that earthiness and that that vetiver dry down is clean and just nice and it lasts a good while but may gray vetiver for sure 
now June starting to really cook in June but so I'm keeping it bright of course in June and in June this might catch you by surprise Mazur de Givenchy or Givenchy Mazur and this one actually speaking of Tom Ford uh, Great Vetiver the reason I picked this one up is because this was listed as one of Tom Ford's actual fragrances he likes to wear and on this one it is has a lavender citrus bright somewhat barbershop feel but you can get this for under 30 I'm definitely under 40 and it's a toilet concentration but is really really good and doesn't smell dated I think this came out in 1959 something like that it doesn't smell like it does smell barbershoppy lavender citrus but man, this is good it's just a it's a perfect concoction of a lot of notes once it gets to dry down oak moss and this is beautiful it really is this is one that every gentleman probably should have in this in the rotation might want to pick that up relatively really good price now july all right july here in texas it's about cook the hair off your head it's starting to really smoke and so i would like a white shirt clean kind of feel and that's from Golan. Loam Ideal Cologne. Nice citrus blast in the beginning. Dries down to, and you have some uh, some almond that it dries with. Nice citrus almond, and I was surprised at how long this lasted. I sprayed it on one night and I woke up with it, and it was not faint, it was there. And I was thrown off by that. And I think we get outside and everything starts cooking. And we think these fragrances go somewhere faster than they do, but it's still there. But, yep. Definitely July. Now August, the hottest month of the year. And YSL, the Frisch. This one to me is of course aquatic citrus. Has a to me a salty melon feel. Oh my god. And I actually really, really like this when it warms up. That that's something about that melon feel that it gives. I'm not even sure if that's a note, but to me it has a salty melon kind of vibe to it. And I, I think you can't go wrong with this one. This is this is a winner. Now, do I wish it stayed around a lot longer? Hell yeah. But when it's here, it's an too, right? when it's here, it is here. And it's well received and well complimented. This is a, a really good one. Now, September, this is gonna be an odd one because this, the reason this one is September, I was in Jamaica and I actually wore this the whole time I was in Jamaica. Compliment Magnet, this is the EDP concentration. Hannah Marie Hem, you can get this for under 30 right now. Pick it up. Like I said in a previous re re review with it, if I tell you a duck can pull a truck, shut the hell up and just hook him up. Just pick this up and try it out. If it doesn't work uh, for $25, $30, throw it in the trash, whatever. Or just give it away. But this is one of my most complimented designer fragrances. And it still holds a little uniqueness for some reason to most people. They can't pinpoint it. But this is solid. It's really solid and lasts as long as the day goes. So now we roll up into October. And I would like a little of gourmand still when we're in October. You know, I'm a gourmand head at heart. So Salvador Uomo. Tiramisu, yeah, that is what it's all about right there. Slight gourmand, there ain't no slight to it, it's just a gourmand feel. And when we get into October, it's kind of hit or miss on whether it's gonna cool down or whether it's still gonna be cooking from September, still kind of warm. But this is perfect for the month. This is one I don't talk about hardly ever, but you will catch me wearing this. Great stuff. Now, when we get into November, it's actually a combo. When I get into November, pure malt, pure Havan. Either are. Can't wait for November. I like tobacco in November. I like the whiskey, the malt, uh, the berries in November. And sometimes I was 69 these. And that just came out kind of nasty. But when I'm saying, when I say 69, I mean I don't layer it on top. I'll spray one on one side, one on the other side. 
so that they are separate but on my skin at the same time. With these to me, that works best. I love these together. I love them separate. I love them in November. That's what it is. So last but surely not least, when we get to December, I think of Christmas. I think of those cinnamon sticks or whatever the hell. People have cinnamon in their house. So I wanted a fragrance that had a little cinnamon to it, but some sweetness as well. Sweetness, cinnamon, stronger with you intensely, or mine. It has just that right cinnamon punch, the sweetness, and this is one I just picked up recently and it is awesome. And it lasts and lasts and lasts. I really, really like this one. And um, so this to me screams December and Christmas time. This is surely what I'll be rocking when we get around to the Christmas time. Strong with you intensely? Fire money. Good stuff, good stuff. But there you have it. 12 of my designer fragrances. Yeah, niche to me. I could have do niche. I still might do a niche because I know the niche opens up a vast array of different fragrances I could bring to you. But when we're thinking about designer, I know I figured I can catch people off guard by pulling out a bunch of designer fragrances that most of you had no clue I even own. <laughs> but yes, I do. I own designer fragrances too. And uh, can't think right off the top anybody I'm going to tag. Uh, I just have to put them in the description after I take some time to think about it. Uh, but again, I want to thank Equality Fragrances for the tag. I have his link to his channel down below. It's a great channel, great juice, great guy. And um, yeah, he's, he's actually on uh, Instagram as well. I'll yeah, actually link that as well. But uh, that's all I got for now, my tag video. Hey, until next time, y'all be good.